I think it is very important because uh, it uh, tells us that not everything what we have thought uh, is MS is truly MS. And one of the examples is the myelin oligodendrocyte glycoprotein antibody associated disease. It's a disease which can be identified by the specific antibodies and it has many features. It's an inflammatory demyelinating disease, so an inflammation which leads to demyelination, very similar to multiple sclerosis, but it is actually in its details than not multiple sclerosis and it has a different uh, pathogenesis and a different reaction to therapy. Uh, so the uh, pathogenic detective difference is that multiple sclerosis itself seems rather to be related to an Epstein-Barr virus infection which then leads to brain inflammation possibly through autoimmunity versus the mock antibody associated disease is probably a direct autoimmune disease directed against the myelin oligodendrocyte glycoprotein. And a uh, major difference is the involvement of antibodies, which is very important in the mock antibody associated disease, but which is much less important in multiple sclerosis. And that has major, major implications for therapy, because uh, therapies uh, which uh, uh, target the antibody production and the plasma cells and their effector mechanisms are very effective in, for instance, uh, these antibody-mediated diseases, but not very effective in multiple sclerosis, and vice versa, that uh, the therapies which uh, just purely uh, target the inflammation are more effective in multiple sclerosis than in these antibody-mediated diseases.